All right, what's up guys? I'm back here with the uh, nerve vacuum I bought for 20 bucks with that one. This is my Bissell Power Force Compact. Now, don't get me wrong, if you see one of these things in real life, these things are smaller than the camera. Or, well, no, smaller in, in real life than the camera, because the camera actually the largest things, which is stupid. Which, which it didn't. But I'll be showing you this thing I always picked up. Now, this thing, when I got this thing, was dirty and it stunk. It stunk so bad. But I'll give you, show you guys, this has a 6.2 amp, same thing as my Bissell Pro Heat that I did a video on not too long ago. This one's made in 2018. And yeah, this is a household type. Do not use this thing for commercial. Just don't. Um, there's not really much I can show you off this thing. Now, I will show you one, one little feature that this thing actually does have a wand that connects to the back of the hose. So if you want to use this thing for, you know, getting up in the uh, corners up there or whatnot, you could. By connecting the other hose and you could put all the attachments or whatnot on this thing. There is a, there is a turbo model out there that has a turbo brush on this. It's not bad, you know, for, you know, this vacuum I think it's like 50 or, 50 or 60 bucks this day in 2023 because of COVID and whatnot. And, you know, you sort of really get what, what, what you pay for. You know, this is a great vacuum for, you know, if you want to do spot cleaning, campers, boats, or if you want to have your kids do a little chore, you could. You know, you could always have not doing this type of thing. Under here, you have an automatic uh, adjusting thing, which kind of works, kind of doesn't. This is your brush roll. Now, don't get me wrong, because, this small, because how small this thing is, this thing has a really aggressive brush roll. It has some of the most tiniest little bristles I've ever seen. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah. But the upper model of this one, which you buy on the Bissell website, actually has a squeegee underneath here so it doesn't kick back at you. And the turbo, the turbo model of the Spencer doesn't even have this either, which is kind of stupid, but you know, they really should. Um, getting underneath here, that's your intake. This, there's no filter underneath here. This is just a, another intake for the uh, main motor. At, or this actually might be an outtake, I don't know. But in here, you have a tiny filter with another filter behind it. This is your cyclone. I like this old turbo thing that they put in here. This like old turbo cyclone, which is kind of stupid, but kind of not. Um, no, don't, don't get me wrong with this little thing. This thing is great. It's just not really meant for hard floors. If you really wanted to, you would have to uh, just wish you luck. Um, this thing does have a 22 foot power cord. It goes on the back of here. I do like this, where it actually has a dual swivel on this one. Where I can do this both and both. This does have a little stretch hose that connects to that or whatnot. This is your power switch. This is your off. This is your uh, recline switch. Now this vacuum, because of, this, of it being so small, weighs I think less than like 10 pounds. I don't know. It's very very light, very very compact. This actually is a good choice for people who like want a budget compact cleaner. I highly recommend it. Now, if you're wondering what some of these things are right here in the Bissell. These are actually are so funny. Uh, get get to the base. You can just take the screws off on both sides, and this whole entire this part right here lifts off from the base. Now you have to remember to actually remove the belt and the brush and all that in order to get underneath there. And remember to remove this, or it's gonna rip it apart. These things are not. These things are cheap, but they're not. They are really hard to find for parts, though. Anyways, I just want to show you guys this little vacuum was given for twenty bucks. No, it's a good deal. I actually like this one. I don't think I'll be keeping it though. This thing's too small. I have a Dirt Double too, which I'll be showing you guys in a little bit. But yeah, stay tuned for more.